I want to show you the latest on the money management algorithm, open code strategies. Cobra CT 5B E-mini S&P is the first one we'll go over. It is in TradeStation. The other three, Cobra CT 3, 4, and 5 DAX. I'll show you that in NinjaTrader. You can use the money management algorithms in TradeStation, NinjaTrader, or MultiCharts. And they come with these open code examples which provide great value because these strategies have great back-tested results going back over 10 years. So you not only get the money management algorithms, you get strategies that are also included with open code. And these are the counter trend strategies for the stock indexes. And I want to show you first Cobra CT 5B E mini SP. The strategy here on the left, I have made a couple of adjustments to this, small adjustments. And I'm going to put this in the members area. It's Cobra CT, it's Cobra CT um, 5B E mini SP. Here's the equity curve. Nice average trade profit. Look for um, $50 at least. And we have 90 in this uh, with a slight adjustment I found. And the equity curve looks great as well. It's hard to improve um, a strategy with the money management algorithm sometimes when it's this good to begin with. Now this is without slippage and commission. Um, so it's still it's hard to improve uh, strategies that look this good. So I want to I did use the stochastic rule three on this side, and I want to show you the updated performance. It goes to $101 average trade profit, and you uh, decrease your drawdown by almost 1,000. So if we go back to the original strategy, there's a 3150 drawdown, and in the updated money management algorithm, there is a $2,000 drawdown, and $100 average trade profit. Here is what the equity curve looks like, and this is Cobra CT 5B, even the S&P with the money management algorithm, and right now as a good entry point for this strategy. Next we're looking at Cobra CT3 DAX in NinjaTrader 8. Let's right click, look at the performance summary. Um, historical results going back to 2009. Uh, pretty nice results. Uh, $18,000 drawdown. That seems big but actually that's not bad for a DAX strategy. Um, DAX is a very volatile market with a big point value. Big daily range on those, and so that's not bad. Average trade profit 71.47, and here is the equity curve. We can improve this though, and I'm going to show you the performance summary of the chart below this. We've applied the money management algorithm to this. I want to show you exactly what the results are. So when you apply the money management algorithm to this, you boost the, aver the total net profit by 40,000. You take the average trade from 71 to 126, and um, the drawdown is at 10,000. And so that's a good number. Um, if you go back and you set this um, to a future date, up around 2012, those numbers are even better because it's kind of a sideways period right now uh, from 2009 to 2012. Which is not bad. The average trade it makes the average trade profit lower and the drawdown bigger. So, if you if you mark it, I think from 2013, the worst case drawdown is I believe um, around six six k from this point forward. I think it's only six k. So, um, and that's in euros. And so that is Dax Cobra CT3 in NinjaTrader eight. Here's DAX Cobra CT4. Let's look at the performance summary. The top chart is the basic strategy. The bottom chart is um, the money management algorithm version. So you see $109 average trade profit, average trade profit for euros, 47,325, and 19,000 dollar, 19,000 euro drawdown. This is in euros. And since we're talking about the DAX, now let's take a look at the money management algorithm version. So you apply the money management algorithm, you boost the total net profit to, from 47 to 61,000 euros. Um, the number of trades is reduced from 434 to 363. The average trade profit goes from 109 euros to 169 euros. And the drawdown is 8,400 euros. And so that is a real benefit is to reduce the drawdowns in some of these. Let's look at the equity curve. Here, it doesn't trade as much, um, and so we'll, 
there are ways to um, modify this but you get the open code in these strategies so you can modify these strategies you can make them trade more frequently or customize them to your tolerance for trade frequency next we'll look at DAX Cobra CT5 here's DAX Cobra CT5 these all use similar but slightly different methodologies this one uses the NYSE tick and here is the base strategy $173 average trade profit 173 euros actually uh, 6350 drawdown so a low drawdown here is the um, total net profit this strategy by itself traded like this is a good strategy so you can see how you just you, this is a strategy that you get how this is maybe a strategy that you want to just trade without the money management algorithm we add the money management algorithm same basic money management algorithm and the total net profit goes down a little bit because the number of trades go down but the average trade profit goes up to 197 the drawdown is about the same and so sometimes it's hard to improve a strategy when it's really good and so you see both of these are really good uh, strategies and that's DAX Cobra CT5 the open code strategies included once again with the money management algorithms I'm going to show you that our Cobra CT5 B E mini S P the open code the money management algorithm setup uh, and DAX Cobra CT3, 4, and 5. And you get the open code for these strategies, not just the money management algorithm, but for the actual professionally developed strategies and the performance summaries for which you just saw. And Cobra CT3 and Cobra CT5 really stand out to me much more than Cobra CT4. But Cobra CT4 is also a good strategy, and there's some diversity in the way these work. And Cobra CT5 V E mini S&P is also a strategy that you want to take a look at. So that is the update um, for what I want to show you for the money management algorithm open code strategies and the latest performance summaries.